so bad play by Kuroki there. And it seems like things are finally getting quieter. Uh, we, see, we have one hero teleporting, is CK, and CK probably needs to farm up a little bit. Same for a uh, uh, pirate on the Scourge side, he needs to farm up a little bit to get his main items. And oh, oh, nice blink strike! <laughs> Gets the NA, NA just getting nuked quite heavily, and, and then now gonna Puck's down. gonna finish the job. Um, thank god Techie didn't get that kill. Yeah, Techie, Techie is not gonna get any kill outside of his suicide, and uh, Meanwhile, everyone back resetting back to the lane. We haven't even talked about the heroes and synergy, but I don't think they're going to go for very synergy heavy uh, lineup because both teams are picking up, like you said earlier, uh, quite new heroes, fun heroes, trying new different new strategies and, and things like that. So I think this is going to be a very exciting game to commentate. As you can see, it's only been nine minutes of playing time. It's 20 kills total. So this is definitely a very action intensive game. Oh, Rexar gets hurt, uh, dodges the torrent, dodges the ship. Um, but he's going to take a lot of damage. Creep coming in to support and he's going to try to juke in the forest. Um, he does not have Crow for sight. But Creeps are giving him sight. An Axe gets the Lich oh, nice, and Kunka nice. still raging coming in. You can see uh, CK coming in for support. And with the slow, with the stun, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, Beast Master, go for that last hit with double damage. Boom. Double damage. Good job there. I don't know what that torrent was all about, but it was way off. So Leah, Leah missing torrents and ships like no other. And uh <laughs> all right, and now back in the game, we have Tiny just spamming his spells to get all the creep wave that time, and he's probably gonna hit a little bit on the mid tower. And right now, now he's Optimus probably gonna come back and try to deny that, uh, try to save the tower a little bit. In the meanwhile, Puck is coming. Oh, it looks like a lot of heroes are coming down. Tiny is going this to is gonna be bottom some lane, but he gets he grabs a regen yeah, yeah. and he's just coming back up to the top. And Techie is, as you okay, can I see, don't know he's, he's, still, uh, he's still adding tons and tons of stasis ward. I mean, any battle up there, there's just going to be like 30 <laughs> seconds of stun. I mean, look at it. It's like 1, 2, yeah, 3, 4. Yeah, if you can see, in, if you just look at the minimap, there's a whole bunch of blue everywhere. Yeah. And I guess that's another advantage of having a uh, color map instead of... Um, you know, a regular red blue. Looks like the, a tiny is gonna get focused on. Ooh, nice long range dragon slave. Um, a lot of Liu players, when they use dragon slave, they tend to click on the heroes. Looks like there is a fight going on on bottom. Puck teeping in, but an axe coming in and uh, gets a kill right there. And yeah, yeah, I was saying earlier, a lot of uh, Lena players, when they use uh, the dragon slave, they click on the hero, and that's really bad on onto nerfing your. Oh, your, take your, just suicide uh, on range. Lich mid and suicide. And Liz just lives with about with about 10 HP. Wow. <laughs> and it looks like everyone's lowing on the map. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, a ship gets phased. Nice phase by the Puck. But Puck still uh, gets stunned and it's going to go down. Mao Lina probably took a roar. Yeah, he did take a roar. Long stun range right there. Beastmaster in the center of everything. And uh, Alchemist taking a lot of damage. But should be okay. Now, oh, Kunka. Nice oh, torrent nice. there. He's going to try to run out by the stasis trap, Imba getting everything, and then Tiny's going to pick up the kill, uh, Chaos Knight, uh, Chaos Knight doing a lot of damage in return, gets off the uh, Alchemist as well, so it's just high intense action to play right there, really interesting to commentate and watch. And with the stasis traps, you want to pretty much... Yo, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay. Well, we've been losing connection earlier, so we just want to make sure that... We have both both people commentating this game, and as yeah. I was saying, the, with the stasis traps, like you want to dictate where the battles are going to happen, and obviously you want you want to try to lure the players in toward on uh, lure the battle towards the stasis, and uh, if one stasis goes off, and that pretty that's pretty much a GG for the team battle right there. Yeah, that's like an AOE five seconds stun. Six that's seconds. a lot of yeah, six second. Uh, yeah, level. that's a lot of stunning time, um, and unlike oh wow a face. On, on autocast dodges the, the torrent right there. You don't usually see phase on autocast. A dream coil going on. Um, oh, toss going oh. In. Oh, so, oh, that was nice stuff. That was some nice stuff. T toss in the. You usually only see that in, in more of like a uh, Dota hero videos. Oh, Rexar top is going in the forest and he catches Lena neutral creeping, roars, throws the axe, pig is attacking, and Lena try to kill, cast LST, but it's too late. And Rexar LSD cast kill. points so long. And meanwhile, yeah. there seems to be a lot of action going down in middle lane. 
Oh, CK just stuns Alchemist for four seconds. Got lucky there. Tosses him back. Toss ship going off. Ship misses everything again. But I think he did a good job dispersing. Uh, yeah. Now Alchemist is going to live through stunning. Oh no, Beastmaster coming up from behind to clean up. Kunka getting slowed by the pig. Are but they going to change target on the Alchemist? And uh, yeah, nothing happening afterwards. But uh, that, that ship, even though he missed everyone, he kind of made everyone run back and forth. Now Kunka. Oh, Kunka just just a lot dies. of nuking in this game, so it's, it's, we're seeing high, high nuking play, and I think that's exactly what Ice Frog wanted. Uh, very action-intensive games, and uh, Tiny trying to go in, not getting much done there, getting nuked, and he might be in trouble if Lich has an ultimate. If they keep chasing, uh, looks like Tiny is going to run two rivers to safety. Yeah. Meanwhile, you see six point six five. Definitely, Ice Frog wanted to stay away from the farming, the carrying. And just, you know, of 30 minutes, just, oh, I'm going to farm Radiance, you know, AFK farm. And he definitely uh, empowered a lot of the push heroes, as uh, as Luminous commentated on the, as he discussed about in, the, in his previous videos. So this is the result of uh, 6.65. And, of course, 6.65 is not finalized, so we're going to see a lot of changes before before a lot more pro, uh, pro replays are going to be held on it. Hopefully a nerf on Ancient Apparition, because that thing is a beast. Uh, <laughs> well, with every uh, new hero, it's all, almost always permaban, and which is probably what happened in this game, because I don't have the ban info. Yeah, uh, yeah th I think this is more like an AP game, because... Uh, and I think both both teams, uh, the players on the team, they're not gonna, you know, go for the cheesy inbit heroes. They just want to have a good game, uh, enjoyable game, and they are definitely putting on a show here. Meanwhile, uh, you know, uh, who just died? I think uh, Techie just died. He didn't even get the chance to suicide, so oh, probably okay. that's a chain stun for death. Lost but uh, Techie yeah. dying is not much of anything. Right. Usually you don't want to go for Techies because he can just always deny himself and you know do like two thousand damage. A lot of target. damage. Right. <laughs> I think he's definitely going for levels four suicide. I'm not sure if he even have skipped his ultimate. Um, probably not, because ultimate. No, he has mines everywhere. Uh, ultimate went three people TPing. Uh, I apparently they have not heard about the nerf about TP scroll, but it doesn't matter. Kuroki has a blink dagger, and then uh, you can see that Techie just TPing in. So with that three people TP in, it takes forever for them to get in. But uh, right. I guess that definitely intimidated the heroes going back. But regardless, Kuroki picking up the kills. Oh, and, and top tower, Rex are going down and. I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, Nerubian Assassin. I don't even know why he went so deep. Yes, Nerubian Assassin kills the Hawk, and it looks like whatever just happened, we pretty much missed it. I'm sorry, guys. No, yeah, this game is definitely action packed, and uh, I think they're gonna get definitely go for that tower. So one thing bad about Techies not picking up that kill is, or not picking up this mines is that uh, during tower pushes, his mines do so much damage to the tower. Oh, you're without right. Without it, like 500 yeah, damage it, to the tower, you can pretty much last. Yeah, that's the tower. that's no joke. And uh, you could you could last hit it. You could give it to uh, you know the uh, enemy hero, or en your teammates or whatever. And the great thing the last about, time I checked, you the great, what's the great that? thing about landmine is that even if the tower attacks it, it still blows up and still does damage to the tower. Yeah. And scourge is finally coming down. They're gonna defend it, but I'm assuming they see the stasis tower. But what they're gonna do about it? Oh, they throw Tekis in and <laughs> Tekis get a double kill. Wow. Oh my God. Tiny is, is just tossing Tekis and and now CK CK blinks. He uh he stuns and Puck blinks in too and and pirate. Just oh goes my god, finish. this is some. But Lena, <laughs> Lena's stuck on the the dream coil and he's he's she's getting focused and she gets stunned and Lich comes in to to try to help. But Lich, Lich, no comes ultimate. In a little too late. Uh, probably on cooldown or something. Yeah, I, I still uh, haven't seen an ulti from him either. I don't know. Uh, maybe he skipped it. I, I don't know. Hiroki. Oh. Blink, blinking. Uh, oh, he's too. Whoa! No, he's you see the frost armor, or maybe that was not. No, that was no, that was not. No, he. Because I guess he got Nova attacks slow, slow. <laughs> so I, one thing really nice about this Techie build is that usually Techie gets really heavily countered by any like uh, uh, Sentry wards because usually uh, mines are placed quite heavily in front of towers. But with Stasis trap, you, you expect them automatically everywhere on the whole map, and you can't exactly counter that with the uh, Stasis traps. So. Oh, and the Ruben Assassin goes in Vendettas and misses Rexar, but now he's gonna now he's gonna get focused down by CK and Techies, and Alchemist is hitting on Puck, and it looks like it looks like everyone backs away, and Techies places a stasis and a remote mine up in that hill right there, and looks and Alchemist releasing his stun before he blows himself again for the third time, and Pirate coming <laughs> no, in, he... cleaving some of the creeps, 
And CK is being, he's backing up now. And looks like the ba the battle is over for now, but Tiny is preparing to throw Techies again, I'm assuming. Nope, he's going out. He's uh, revealing himself. Yeah, he's, he wanted to get some farm. Kroki's like, screw you. <laughs> You're not getting double kill. I, I'm getting farm. Uh, now, uh, yeah, one thing, one thing that uh, the Scourge team got out of that is that they get the they got the ter uh, tower denied. So uh, even I don't think they lost any player through that as well. So that was not a bad exchange for them. Uh, be, meanwhile, Sentinel team is kind of hiding. Um, I think I think the Scourge team right now is very afraid. Uh, they this this whole map you know to them might be warded uh, by mines and stuff like that so that only not only give them a lot of stuns on the uh, on the scourge on the sentinel team but it also uh, gives a lot of map vision to the sentinel team